What's up guys, Chris here, and uh, today I just got a quick update. Uh, if you saw my last unbagging video, I mentioned that I was probably going to rebuild my MMP to black, and that's what I did right here. So this is with the black nebula frame. As you can see, full markings. I put the serial number plate on there. And I switched out the trigger. I had the silver trigger in there before I switched it out to the red one. Uh, not sure how, how I feel about that, but it's kind of too much candy red for my taste. I wanted it more like this kind of deep, I guess, racing red, you could say. That was on the fiber optics and also that I have on the base plate, so just to give it a little bit of a pop. But overall, I think it it looks good, but I would have to say that my dual tan, tan and uh, gray or black uh, MMP looked better. I mean, not that this is bad, but uh, I think the other one was nicer. But you know, it's always nice to have the option to switch things out without having to uh, to buy an additional pistol. So this was kind of cool. Um, the other thing I did here was. Uh, let's see, let me take up the slide. I made a pretty big mistake on my MMP, uh, which was that I tried to force the slide into battery uh, when it was actually locked on the slide lock. So uh, right there where you can see it's silvery finish on the inside that was actually a little bit of a uh, a nub you could say and that's where this part of the slide catch actually rests uh, and I just switched out the slide catch from uh, my other frame to get a, a better one here and this one actually it just barely catches on the slide there so basically what I did was slide was locked back like this and I thought the gun had jammed so I uh, went ahead and did this just like seriously punched it in the back and it, it didn't move so I was like what the hell just happened and then I looked and I saw that the slide catch was engaged so that was a uh, pretty pretty big mistake on my part I think you can see here that that's the way the slide catch is supposed to look it's catching on the inside of that piece. Not sure how well this shows up, but uh, I think you get the idea. And so uh, what happened was with my the, the old slide catch that I had installed, since it didn't catch on that little uh, ledge in here like this, um, yeah, I can't do it right now, but basically, you can see right here where we have a little bit of a deformation in the slide. That's so the slide catch was was cutting into this. So I'm hoping I can save my uh, SAI slide by uh, switching that part out. So let's go ahead and uh, do a little little uh, beauty shot here before I go. Again, the badass front of this pistol. Flashlight, strobe. The 
saline arms text right here nine millimeter marking and of course the very beautifully made thread protector from ace one arms with the tactical outer barrel so you know not a bad look all in all but like i said i do prefer the the dual tone one um the slide plate um looks nice so this is more realistic i'm not sure i think i've seen the real mmps with that kind of lipstick <laughs> colored text I'm not too sure if i like that but if that's the way the uh, the real one looks i'm gonna have to accept it so there you guys go that's what a um, blacked out sai mmp looks like in case you're uh, wondering thinking about building one so uh, once again, hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video and I'll see you later.